Welcome to the NAV People's Jet 101 Knowledge Hub. Um, first thing we'll start off with an apology. Um, this isn't one of our usual uh, live recordings. Um, I may have not pressed the record button during the live performance last week. Um, so um, this is just going to be a, a, just a, a normal sort of recording um, with no interactions or anything like that. Um, so if you have any uh, questions at all about uh, anything that's covered on this um, webinar, then uh, please feel free to um, send us an email at ask at the navpeople.co.uk. It's a free of charge service, um, and we will do our absolute best um, in replying to uh, any NAV or JIT-related queries. Okay, so in the next hour, uh, I'm going to be talking to you guys about uh, designing and running JIT reports, um, specifically from a NAV database. Um, how I'm going to do that is uh, I'm just going to give you guys a quick introduction on JET, um, you know, why it was created in the first place, um, where it is now, um, as well as uh, a brief introduction to uh, all the ribbons and all the options that you have uh, on the ribbon and the different design tools and stuff like that. Uh, and then I'll dive straight into creating a nice, uh, simple uh, list. Uh, we'll talk about um, introducing you to some of the JET functionality and stuff like that as part of that. Um, we're going to add some filters, um, some sorting, then start to add in some great um, Excel formatting based on the based on the JET report, which is obviously the NAV data. So to, just to show you how quickly you can create a very simple but nice looking report. Uh, then we'll move on to using the report wizard, um, where we're going to create a bit more of a, a complicated uh, customer report, um, including some uh, bits of information from additional tables, um, and just show you, using the skills that we've taught, uh, you know, that I would have shown you in the creating a simple list, you can then edit the uh, the report wizard functionality after you've completed that process to really sort of um, enhance that functionality. Okay then, well, so what I'm first of all going to do is I'm just going to pop over to my uh, virtual machine. Um, and show you JET. So this is JET. Um, in essence, it is, well, in essence, it is an Excel uh, add-in. So it sits inside Excel. Um, it was specifically designed for NAV. Um, getting information out of NAV in terms of written reports or uh, exporting information out of Excel um, used to be quite difficult. Um, the NAV reports themselves are, you know, very inflexible. Um, if any end user wanted to have any uh, customizations made to those reports, they had to speak to a company like us as a reseller, um, and we have to get developer involved to creating uh, or changing um, any of those reports. Um, so for that, for us, is time, and for our end users, money. Um, so Jet came along, and we. Uh, as soon as we were partnered with them, we've not sold a NAV system without it because of its flexibility in terms of being able to create reports um, and change reports and just draw the information out of NAV into a nice, familiar environment. Most people are leaving school nowadays with some great Excel skills because that's what they get taught at school. Therefore, having, that, having the NAV data in that kind of environment is perfect. Um, Obviously, since then, JET has then expanded it out, so you can basically access any information that's being held in a SQL database. So there's quite a few different options for you um, in terms of being able to uh, connect to a variety of data sources, and you can connect for multiple data sources and have that, all of that information coming to one JET report. So you can do some really nice consolidation of data from lots of variety of different databases. All right, then. So moving on to the ribbon. Um, here we have the JET ribbon. Um, it's split out into a, a nice few different sections, but the first one uh, on here on the left-hand side where it says modes, uh, there are two modes basically that JET can be in. It can either be in design mode or it can be in report mode. Uh, obviously, if you're set up as a designer on your JET license, um, it will enable you to put a report into design mode and then that is where you will want to make all of your changes that you make to your report in design mode. When you decide that uh, just you want to see what the report looks like or you finish design, change, making those changes, you can then press report. That will then run the reports. That's the bit where it goes to the NAV database, grabs all the data, 
and then displays it based on the criteria that you've put in uh, in the design function. Refresh, it doesn't matter which mode you press refresh in, so you can either be in design mode or you can be in report mode, but what that will do is it will goes back to nav, grabs all the data and brings it back into the report. When that's finished, it will always be in report mode. Okay, so again, it doesn't matter which uh, mode that you're in when you press the button, but it will always finish in report mode. The next section where it says design tools um, are a great way, uh, depending on what kind of report you want out of NAV or the sort of data or how you want it to be displayed will depend on what design tool you would use. Um, sadly, we will not have enough time to go through them all, uh, but I will show you uh, the browser because um, that's a great way of very quickly creating a nice list. Um, the report wizard, so that will be where we uh, very quickly create a nice basis of a report with some formatting and stuff like that to be able to add bits and pieces onto it that we like. Um, and we've got these, this JFX, which is the Jet Functions um, buttons, which are here at the top, split into four. All right? And I will explain those as we go along. Um, I'll spend the others that we're not going to uh, have a chance to go through, but we've got the table builder. The table builder is a great way if you want to be able to pull a lot of information out of NAV, put it into an Excel document, and then point a pivot table at it. Really great for that. Um, and then snippets. Um, snippets are a great way of, a, of, very, of being able to save a group of cells that you use repeatedly. Um, so instead of going back to an old report and copying and pasting something and bring it in, you can save it as a snippet and then just drag it in whenever you want to. Um, the best thing about that is you don't even have to use that with Jet Functions inside it. So you can actually save a group of just Excel cells with just standard Excel functionality in them as a snippet and then just keep reusing it. Uh, the next section, we've got some nice report tools. Um, you may or may not be aware, but um, when you run a report, uh, Jet will allow you to drill down into that information. Uh, and in the setup, you can actually set it to go, either you're going to open up NAV for me and take me to that record that you've got this information from, or you could display that information using, um, uh, or Jet could display that information in a separate window for you. Um, we love the fact that you can just press the button and it will take you to NAV. You know, oh, that figure looks slightly uh, off. That might be... Why is that figure like that? You can hit the drill down and it will then open, take you to the record inside of NAV and goes, this is why we've come up with this figure. And you can look at that and go, oh, actually, that's because of X, Y, and Z. That's fine. Or you can go, you know, or you can make some changes inside of NAV and go, okay, yeah, that's right. This setup's missing. And, oh, this is what we need to do. You might need to journal some entries. But then as soon as you go back to Jet Report and hit refresh, that information will then be updated and the figures then should uh, match with what you've got. Uh, the debug button in the middle is, um, if you've got some error messages and stuff like that coming up, you can select a cell, hit the debug button, and it will just tell you what the error message is for that particular cell. Um, so it's a great way to um, 